our meditation from the book of Hebrews. I want to turn us to a scripture that the Lord has reminded me this morning. In the book of Ephesians chapter 3. Okay, Ephesians chapter 3. And verse 8. These are the words of the Apostle Paul. He writes here to the Ephesus, Ephesus Church. Unto me who am less than the least of all the saints. Is this grace given. That I should preach among the Gentiles. The unsearchable riches of Christ. Parsutha Vangal, Lorlum Sirivanaganan, Christianudi Alavatra Sivirete, Prajadikil, Susheshamai Arivikrather Kaha, in the Kiribay and a Kalika Patrikiri. Yes. I'd like to just read from another translation if I could easily get it. Pinur Muliaka Devasiki Vimigrain. Yes. To me, though I am the very least of all the saints, this grace, favor, privilege was granted and graciously entrusted. This is the amplifier I am reading to proclaim to the Gentiles the unending, boundless, fathomless, incalculable, and exhaustless riches of Christ. Wealth which no human being could have stretched out. Oh, sorry, searched out. Kirtinudi and the Alavatra, Alamana, Elayatra, Kanakata Padamudia, Manitanal Purindula Mudia, in the Iswarate, Prajadi Gatil Pressing, Kirube, Alika Purikari. So Paul says here to proclaim to the Gentiles the unending, boundless, fathomless, incalculable. And exhaustless riches. Christo Nudea in the Alavatra, Kanakata Padamudia, Yelayatra, Miga Alamana, in the Suicide Satin Isuria, the Pressing Aleka Patrick and the Suligra. Yes. Yeah, riches of Christ, wealth which no human being could have searched out. Christo Nudea in the Isuria Manade, Yenda or Manada Nudea, Yanamum, Indam Ara and Daria Padamudia Ville. Yes. So Paul says here, he is called to preach the unsearchable riches. Yes. You know, if you are one caught up with this fathomless, this exhaustless, this boundless, this incalculable riches of Christ, you know what happens to that man? He will sound pretty dull. He will sound pretty dull. But he will he will sound as a dull voice, a dull a man with a dull message. Yes. You know, we see how much even Paul went through in his very time. This is something the Lord has been laying upon my heart and ministering to myself. If you are going to be a man who will speak the unfathomable, the endless, the exhaustless, the fathomless, the boundless riches in Christ. You 
in our riches in Christ for us now. இப்பொழுது கிறிஸ்துவில் நமக்கு வைக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிற ஐஸ்வர்யத்தை குறித்து and in the ages to come. இன்னும் வருகிற காலத்தில் வைத்திருக்கிற ஐஸ்வர்யத்தை குறித்தும் he will be a man who will be sounding so dull apadipatta oru manidan swarajyam illada oru seidhiye kondirupa because every preacher is promising so many great things here in the natural realm yenendal anega prasangiyargal indha bhoomikuriya karyathile anega aashirvadangalai kurithu pesikondirukkirargal the riches in christ have been limited to materialism and prosperity down here on this earth kirsunudi alavatra aishwaryamana indu bhoomi kuriya ulaga porlinal mattupaduthapatta aashirvadathai konde kaanapadigirathu and then those riches are you know a mansion in in heaven melum anega vaasasthalangal parlavathil irukirathu endru solli muduthi vidugirargal you know and so we see that agave na paarkiradhu you know if you become part of that company like the apostle paul who will preach the endless boundless you know fathomless riches in christ agiyal apostle paul e polave neengal alavatra christude aishwaryathai and ellayatra aishwaryathai kanakadapada mudiyada aishwaryathai prasangirukkorulaga irundal yathi usu mandalikya bhaga hote hain to those riches in christ and the alavat now look at what paul says in chapter 1 ebesir 1 am adhigaram chapter 1 and verse 7 7th vasanam in whom we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace அவருடைய கிருபையின் ஐஸ்வர்யத்தின் படியே இவருடைய ரத்தத்தினாலே பாவ மன்னிப்பாகிய மீட்பு இவருக்குள் நமக்கு உண்டாயிருக்கிறது ஐஸ்வர்யங்கள் by the gospel of jesus christ yes the christian association மூலமாக எபேசிய விசுவாசிகள் எவ்வளவு அளவற்ற அந்த ஐஸ்வர்யத்தினால் அழைக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிறார்கள் என்று அவர் சொல்கிறார் you know so we see here paul's great burden ஆகவே அப்போஸ்தல் பவுல் மிகப்பெரிய பாரத்தை நாம் இங்கு பார்க்கிறோம் you know as such a man who would preach and teach you know this fathomless and boundless riches in christ கிறிஸ்துவினுடைய அளவற்ற ஆழமான இந்த ஐஸ்வர்யத்தை குறித்து பிரசங்கிக்கிற இந்த ஒரு மனிதன் அவனை கேட்பது மிக கடினமாக இருக்கும் அவனுடைய வார்த்தை மிக கடினமாக இருக்கும் அவன் body is speaking swarasyam illama and then he is hard to listen to melum avanude vaarthai miga kelpadharku kadinamaga irukkum you know the lord reminded me these words indha vaarthigale devan enakku velippaduthinar we are living in a time naam vaalgira indha naalkal in a time of this media saturated video oriented age நம்முடைய இந்த காலமானது அந்த சமூக வலைதளங்களினால் அந்த வீடியோக்களினால் நிறைந்திருக்கிற காலமாக இருக்கிறது you know we need to accept the times in which we are living naam vaalgira indha kaalathinudaiya nilamai naam purindukolla vendum we are living in such times naam ipdi patta kaalathil dhaan vaalgirom this media saturated and video oriented muluvudumaga samuga valaidhalangal kaanuligal ivigalinal pidikapettirukkira ulagathile naam vaalndu kondirukkirom in a time such as this ipidipatta naatkalile it is becoming increasingly difficult to speak the unsearchable riches inda kirtunude alavatta aishwaryate pesuvathu mega kadinamana or karyamaga irukkirathu dhan ke vishayam mein prachar karna bahut kadhin hai because the media is saturated with preachers of all kinds ella vidamana prasangikkalalum inda samuga valadanamanadhu nirambi irukkirathu endradhai naam paarkkirum for example udharanathirkku you want to listen to the devotion dhyana pagudhiya naam kekka virumbinal kiska devotion yaarudaiya dhyanam good samadhan devotion nammudaiya sabaiyude good samadhan then there are many things lined up adarkku anega video kal ungalku varum line nai bhakti bhakti ke baad shreeni 
there are so many other devotions inna manega dhyanangal samuga valaidalangalile ungalku varum so we see the media is so saturated with many many things agave inda samuga valaidanamanadu palavida karyangalinal nirayindirukkirade we are living in a video oriented age naam vaalgira kaalamanadu kaanungalinal nirayindu pidikapettirukkira ulagamagum you know whether you want it or not it's all lined up neengal virumbinalum viruma vittalum varisiyaga ungalukku vandu nirkirathu yes we thank god these provisions are there in the erpaadukaga naam nandri seluthalam but i'm sharing the other side of it anal adinudi unnoru pakkathai naan payirndu kolgiren how difficult it is to speak the unsearchable riches and the alavatra aishwaryate pesuvathu evvalavu kadinamaga irukirathu theriyuma you know and yet we see the determination of the apostle paul in his time irundhalum avarude kaalathil apostle paul avarude theermanathai when there were people who were preaching another gospel and the veru suvishesathai anaigar another jesus veru yesuvai அழைக்கப்பட்டிருந்தது <laughs> if god has given us this precious privilege devan inda alavatra sagyathai namakku koduthirupparil given us an understanding about this unsearchable riches inda alavatra aishwaryate kurithu oru purudhalai namakku koduthirupparil we were singing that song today inda naam paadalai paadinadhu pole how deep is the father's love pidavinudaiya anbu evlo aalama irukku you know there are so there there are depths unto which god wants to bring us in this great salvation in the mega periya rachipile devan namai mega aalamana edathirkku alaikka kondu virumbugira boundless fathomless illayetra incalculable kanakidapada mudiyada and exhaustless riches illayetra kanakidapada mudiyada aalamana aishwaryathirkku namai kondu vara virumbugira or a gum in yes and therefore i want to encourage all of us agave naangal ovvoru varai urchaga padutukiren god is causing us to hear his voice in these days inda naalkalile devan than sathathai namakku thonikka pannugirar help us may god help us to be sensitive to the holy spirit agave ande aaviyude sathathirkku naam unarullavarla irukka devan udavi seiyattum may god help us to be sensitive to the spirit of god devanudi aaviyanavarnudi vaarthaikku naam unarullavarla irukka devan udavi seiyattum and hear what god has to say to us devan namakku சொல்வதை கேட்பதற்கு தேவன் உதவி செய்யட்டும். The return again to the book of Hebrews chapter 4. மறுபடியும்ாக எபிரேயர் 4 ஆம் அதிகாரம். Yes. Hebrews chapter 4. எபிரேயர் 4 ஆம் அதிகாரம். Verse 11, 12 and 13. 11, 12, 13. for the word of god is quick and powerful sorry let us labor therefore to enter into that rest lest any man after the same example lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief for the word of god is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart neither is there any creation that is not manifest in his sight but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do so we thank god for um uh, many precious thoughts god did minister to us in the previous weeks kadand varangalile devan anega vidamana aalochanegalai namakku inda vasanangalil irundhu pesinar adarkku nandri seluthuvom yes i am not going to revise many of those things again today anda karyangalil irundhu ellavattiyum naan solla virumbavillai there can be no eternal mixture of adam and christ god spoke very clearly to us adamin swabhavamum kristuvum swabhavamum nithiyathirkaga kalakapada mudiyadhu endru naan paarthom you know 
Israel could not enter into their promised land. They could not enter in because they could not have faith to enter into a rest in their own hearts. Unbelief was the main culprit and reason why they uh, they were not able to come into that destiny in their lives. And therefore he says, what was the reason for their unbelief? We heard very, very clearly. And may this not be a doctrine to us or a teaching, but let it be a word that will really work in us. Bring us into that place where we will experience the dividing work of the living word. The word is powerful. It is energetic. If you have this word working in you, you will experience the energy of God working in your very life. So, they miss the purpose of God in their lives. Could not experience the purpose of their salvation. And the Devanudia Rachipanudia Nokate Ilandargal. All because of unbelief. In and all Aviswasam Dan. So that repeatedly from God's word. Idenam Turan the Deva Vartan the Pato. Why are why is the Lord speaking this to us? Idayen Deva Namaka Pesigra. The Apostle Paul had to write this to the Hebrew believers. Apostle Paul and our every Viswasil Kale the Vendi the Iron Dede. Ligna Pada. Because they were also in danger of missing that purpose of God in their lives. And the Lord is speaking this to us that we also stand in the same danger. Yes. So may God help us to receive His word. The word of God divides the sender, the soul and the spirit. The word of God God separates the Christ life from the Adamic life. This is the purpose of God to bring us under the sharp sword of the word of God. Yes. We heard many things. The result of faith is that we come into a kind of rest in our hearts with God. That rest is one thing we have to experience now in our lives. Many people talk about that rest as a rest after physical death. But Paul's letter here is very clear as we saw last week. It's speaking about something now in our lives. Yes. So may God help us. How much we need to trust in God and have our faith in Him. That we experience that rest in our hearts. Remember, without that rest in our lives, we can never enter into the promises of God. Rest is the indication that we are trusting in God. Rest is the indication that we have faith in Him who has called us. Oh, may God help us. We heard many other wonderful aspects of faith. We heard faith is power. You know, faith helps us and brings us to places of Power over many things. 
power over satan satanuk melaga vallamai power over the world ulagathe jayam kolugira vallamai and so on ipidiyaga viswasam namakku tharigirathu yes, god is calling us for an honesty in our hearts devan namakku oru uttama idhirayathe nammedathe edirpaarkkirar endru kettom yes as we heard even last week kadanda varam nam paarthadhu pole our shortcomings the lord knows about nammude koraivaadugalai devan arindirukkar our failures he knows about nammude tholivugalai kurithum arindirukkar our weaknesses he knows very well nammude balavinangal avarkku miga nandraga therivu we cannot hide it from him avarude therindhu nam adai marakka mudiyadhu but god wants us to be honest with ourselves and with god anal namme kurithum devunode kudum nam oru uttama hridayathe devu irukkar yes so may god help us agave devan namakku even as we progress on in our meditation today indrum kuda nammude dhyanathile nam thodandu so as we saw the couple of last couple of weeks kadanda sila varangalaga nam paarthadhu pole you know we can see point by point nam oru oru padiyaga paarkalam that we have to do with the living god in our lives nammude vaalkai nam jeevanulla devunode kuda dhan kanakku upadikka vendum We are related to a God who is living. Nam jeevanulla devanodu kuda nam uravai kondirukkrom. You know that is the principle of his working. Andha oru neediyil dhaan avar kriya seidukkirar. Faith brings us into oneness with this principle of God a living a God of resurrection. விசுவாசமானது ஜீவனுள்ள உயிரோடு எழுந்த தேவனோடு கூட ஒரு உறவை நமக்கு கொண்டு வருகிறது அந்த நீதியில் கொண்டு வருகிறது சோ ஒன் திங் வி ஆல் டு செட்டில் இன் அவர் ஹார்ட்ஸ் ஆகவே ஒரு காரியத்தை நாம் நன்றாய் புரிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டும் you know with this god everything is living இந்த ஒரு தேவனோடு கூட எல்லா காரியங்களும் உயிரோட்டமாக இருக்கிறது this is the comprehensive word to all of us இந்த ஒரு வார்த்தை தான் எல்லோருக்கும் வைத்திருக்கிறது that everything is living where you have the living god தேவனுடைய ஜீவன் தேவன் ஜீவனுள்ள தேவன் remember this everything is living where there is a living god எங்க ஜீவனுள்ள தேவன் இருக்கிறாரோ அங்க எல்லாம் ஜீவனாக உயிராக இருக்கிறது that's why god is calling us to be a uh, worshipers who will worship the living god agavedan jeevanulla devane aaradhikkira aaradhanayalargalaga namai alaithirukkar yes livingness and the jeevan we are living sacrifices and the jeeva paligal amen lively stones and the jeevanulla karkalaga namai alaithirukkar this is what god is looking for idhan devan edirpaarkkar so everything is living where you have the living god enga jeevanulla devan nikkaro anga ellam jeevanaga irukirad endrai paarkirom now what is the testimony of this god in the devanudaiya saatchi enna you know the supreme testimony devanudaiya meenmayana saatchi enna is that he is living avar jeevanulla avaraga irukkar endrai aagum that is the testimony adhan and the saatchi that he is living avar jeevanulavara irukkar you know this is very very important for all of us to understand and live in that realm in our lives indha oru kaaryathai nam purindukonde andha mandalathile nam vaala vendiyadhu nam ellorukkum avashyam aayirukkirathu this has to do with the preeminent evidences of the presence of the living god devunudaiya prasannamanadhu aadhiyil irundhu ipidiyagave irukkirathu engira unarthalodu kuda vaalgirathu idhu kurikkirathu evidences of the living god presence of the living god jeevanudaiya devunudaiya prasannathinudaiya saatchi enna his living word working in his people tanudaiya janangalile avarudaiya jeevanulla vaarthiyanadhu kriya cheyidu kondirukkiradagum and we thank god for all that we could hear from god's word about faith viswasathai kurithi nam deva vasanathil irundhu keta oru oru kaariyathil faith brings us into oneness with god's purpose devudaiya nokkathodu kuda viswasam nammai orumai paduthukirathu oneness with his method avarudaiya valimuriyodu kuda orumai paduthukirathu oneness with his means avarudaiya oodagathodu kuda orumai paduthukirathu oneness with his time avarudaiya nerathodu kuda orumai paduthukirathu oneness with the the principle of his working the power of resurrection that he is a living god avar jeevanulla devan engira andha neediyagi uyirthaldin vallameyodu kuda nammai orumai paduthukirathu yes so as i said the preeminent evidence is that the living god is with us 
ஜீவனுள்ள தேவன் நம்மோடு கூட இருக்கிறார் என்பதுதான் ஆதிசாட்சி அவர் நம்மோடு கூட இருக்கிறார் காட் வித் இமானுவல் என்றால் தேவன் நம்மோடு இருக்கிறார் என்ற அர்த்தம் இமேன் இட் இஸ் நாட் ஜஸ்ட் எ வேர்ட் தட் வி சே but it is something that is demonstrated that which is evident in and through our lives nammude walkeyin moolamaga idu unmayagave vaalndu velippaduthapattirukirathu idu edho nan solugira vaarthai alla my prayer this morning is agave naan enna jebikiren god may give us the spirit of revelation and understanding velippaduthal naaviyum arindukolugira aaviyin what we need is not an understanding by our minds and our intellect namudaiya putti kurumeyinal purindukollakudiya kaariyam but my prayer is that the lord will open our eyes of understanding by the holy spirit parichutha aaviyin moolamaga namudaiya manakkangal therakkapada naan jebikiren i'm feeling warm Oh, the word is making me warm. இந்த வார்த்தையானது எனக்கு அனல் ஊட்டுகிறது. I can feel the heat of the word. வார்த்தையினுடைய அனலை நான் உணர முடிகிறது. Oh my God, help us. தேவன் எனக்கு உதவி செய்ய. I want us to turn to the book of Joshua chapter 3 for a moment again. ஒரு சில நொடிகளுக்கு யோசுவா எழுதின புத்தகம் 3 ஆம் அதிகாரம். யோசுவா 3 ஆம் அதிகாரம் chapter 3 3 ஆம் அதிகாரம் I'm reading verse 10 and 11. 10 11 verse 9. And Joshua said, "Hereby ye shall know that the living God is among you, and that he will without fail drive out from before you the Canaanites, the Hittites and the Hivites and the Perizzites and the Girgashites and Amorites and the Jebusites. Behold, the ark of the covenant of the Lord of all earth, all the earth passeth over you." unto jordan into jordan pinbu yoshua yeah, please read pinbu yoshua jeevanulla devan ungal nadavil irukkar enbadiyum avar kananiyariyum yetheriyum eviyariyum berisiyariyum kirgasiyariyum emoriyariyum ebusiyariyum ungalku munbaga turathi viduvar enbadiyum neengal arindu kolvadharku adayalamaga idho sarva bhoomikkum aandavaraa irukkarude udanpadikai petti ungalku munne yordanile pogirathu yes amen amen hereby ye shall know that the living god is among you whereby idan moolamaga jeevulla devan ungalku irukkar endru arindukollungal idan moolamaga hereby ye shall know idan moolamaga arindukolvirgal whereby idan moolamaga hereby ye shall know that the living god is among you jeevulla devan ungal naduvil irukkar endru idan moolamaga arindukolvirgal behold the ark of the covenant of the lord of all earth passeth over before you into jordan idho sarva bhoomikku mandavara irukkirude udanpadikai petti ungalku munne geyodanile poigirathu amen amen hereby you shall know idan moolamaga neengal arindukolveer whereby idan moolamaga behold the ark of the covenant of the lord of all earth passeth over before you into jordan idho sarva bhoomikku mandavara irukkirude udanpadikai petti ungalku munne yordanile poigirathu yes You shall know the living God is among you. Jeevanulla devan ungalol irukkar endru arindukollu. Behold the ark of the covenant of the Lord of all earth passeth over before you into the Jordan. Idho sarva bhoomikku mandavara irukkirude udanpadikai petti ungalku munne yordanile pogirathu. Tumare aa gate in jathan mein jaata. Some of you may want that to be explained. Idai ningal vilakka vendum endru solugireergal. But I would like to say one or two words here. இங்க ஒரு சில வார்த்தைகளை நான் சொல்ல விரும்புகிறேன். Behold the ark of the covenant of the Lord of all the earth passes over before you into the Jordan. இதோ சர்வ பூமிக்கு ஆண்டவராய் இருக்கிறதே உடன்படிக்கை பெற்றி உங்களுக்கு முன்னே யோர்தானிலே போகிறது. One or two things I would like to say here. இங்க ஒரு சில காரியங்களை சொல்ல விரும்புகிறேன். This is very prophetic. இது மிகவும் தீர்க்கதரிசனம். First of all, Jordan is always a type of death. யோர்தான் என்பது எப்பொழுதுமே மரணத்தை குறிக்கிறது. and at that time when this word was spoken and the nerathile inda vaarthai sollapatta poludhu jordan was at the flood yordanil anda vellam karaiburandu odiyathu overflowing migavum adhigamaga irundhathu yes. with all its you know all over its banks adinudaiya irupura karaiyum vellam purandu odiyathu so it is a type of death agave idu oru maranathai kurikirathu death at flood time and the maranam vellamaga vandathu it's a flood tide adu maranathin alai the mighty flood of death yes 
அந்த மரணமானது வெள்ள அலையை போல overflowing overflowing all the banks அந்த இருபுற கரையும் ஆர்ப்பரித்து வெள்ளம் பிரகாயித்தது that is one picture of it இது அதனுடைய ஒரு பக்கம் ஒரு சித்திரம் secondly இரண்டாவதாக the ark of the covenant is the lord jesus உடன்படிக்கை பெட்டி என்பது ஆண்டவராக இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவை குறிக்கிறது the lord jesus christ in type அது ஒரு சித்திரமாக நிலாட்டமாக நாம் he is typified in the ark of the covenant உடன்படிக்கை பெட்டியாக அங்க அவர் சித்தரிக்கப்பட்டிருக்கிறார் and we know that the ark foreshadowed christ அந்த உடன்படிக்கை பெட்டி இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவின் நிலாட்டம் என்று நாம் பார்க்கிறோம் now we see here very clearly therefore ஆகவே நாம் இங்க ஒரு காரியத்தை தெளிவாக பார்க்கிறோம் joshua said joshua சொன்னது போல hereby you shall know the living god is among you இதன் மூலமாக ஜீவனுள்ள தேவன் உங்கள் நடுவில் இருக்கிறார் behold the ark of the covenant of the lord of the earth passeth over before you into the jordan இது சர்வ பூமிக்கு மாண்டவராய் இருக்கிறவரே உடன்படிக்கை பெட்டி உங்களுக்கு முன்னே யோர்தானிலே போகிறது என்று சொல்கிறார் புஷ்கர் சந்தூக் யர்தன் ஆகி ஆகி ஜாத்ரே you know i would like to bring this interpretation inge ore vilakku ore or what it really means adanude unmaiyana artham enna to us in the new covenant pudhi erpaattil irukka namakku enna you know jesus christ goes right over into the flood tide of jordan yesu christ vanavar and the yordan nadiyin vellathile avar kadandu poigiradai nam paarkirom yes flood tide of jordan yordaninudaiya and the alai pravahithu varigira and the vellathai avar kadandu poigirar and immediately the ark comes in touch with the flood tide and the vella perikile and the udanbadikai petti thottadukku udanadiyaga the flood tide and you know, the floods give way and the vella perikku vali vittathu and the flood tides were forced to get back and the vella perikkanadhu vali vittu adu nindradhu that's what we read in the book of joshua idai than joshua vil nam vaasikkom i'm getting back to those verses for want of time nera kurai but we know that we are familiar with those verses and the vasanangal namakku theriyum the flood gives way and the vella perukku vali vittathu and the flood is forced back and the vella perukkanadhu nindru poi vittathu the waters are made to stand up and the vella perukkanadhu oru madilai pol nindradhu and gives give a passage to the people of faith to pass over viswasa janangal kadandu pogumbadiyaga adu oru paadai undaakiyathu and What is the supreme evidence of the living God? ஜீவனுள்ள தேவன் இருக்கிறார் என்பதற்கு என்ன ஒரு அடையாளம்? Amongst them was this. அவர்கள் மத்தியிலே இதுதான் அடையாளம்ன்றது. Amen. இதுதான் அடையாளம். The supreme evidence that God is with us was the flood waters of Jordan that was overflowing all the banks you know went back and stood up and made the people of faith to pass over. எப்பொழுதும் யோர்தானிலே எப்பொழுதும் யோர்தானிலே வெள்ளப்பெருக்கு கரை கரை எடுத்து ஓடிக்கொண்டிருந்தாலும் அந்த ஜீவனுள்ள தேவன் உயிரோடு இருக்கிறார் என்பதற்கு அடையாளம் என்னவென்றால் அந்த வெள்ளப்பெருக்கு ஒரு மதிலாக நின்று அந்த ஜனங்களுக்கு போவதற்கு ஒரு பாதையை உண்டு பண்ணியது அதிலே நடந்து சென்றார்கள் அது அடையாளம் எல்லோரும் என்ன சொன்னார்கள் Now listen very carefully brothers and sisters. We said hallelujah because the flood waters of Jordan stood back. யோர்தானுடைய வெள்ளப்பெருக்கு நின்று போய் விட்டது மதிலாகி போய் விட்டது அதற்காக ஹalleluya சொல்றோம். Now what is the supreme evidence for us today in our lives? ஆனால் இப்பொழுது நமக்கு தேவனுடைய அடையாளம் என்ன? Amen. What is the evidence? இந்த தேவனுடைய அடையாளம் என்ன? Joshua said in those days Joshua and the kalathile sonna Hereby you shall know the living God is amongst us Idan moolamaga jeevula devan ungal nadivile irukkirar Behold the ark of the covenant Adhu udanbadike petti of the lord of all the earth passes before you into the jordan Sarva bhoomikku mandavara irukkiradudaiya udanbadike petti yordanile poigirad endru sonna Yes and the water stood by And the vellam allowed the, the the people of faith to cross over Viswasa janangal nadappadharku valiye undu panniyathu What does that mean to us today Indru namakku adude artham enna Will we be able to say hallelujah Neengal hallelujah endru solla mudiyuma For what Christ has done for us in our own lives Nammudaiya vaalkile devan enna seidhirukkara adharku What is the supreme evidence of the living God amongst us today இன்று நமக்குள்ளாக ஜீவன்ல தேவன் இருக்கிறார் என்பதற்கு மேன்மையான அடையாளம் என்ன 
When Joshua said amongst us that day அந்த காலத்துல யோசுவா நமக்குள்ளாக இருந்தது It was the ark of the covenant stepping into the waters அந்த வல்ல பெருக்கிலே உடன்படிக்கை பற்றி போனதாக இருந்தது And the waters were pushed back to the day of Adam அந்த அந்த தண்ணி அந்த வெள்ளமானது ஆதாமினுடைய நாளுக்கு பின்பாக தள்ளப்பட்டது Yes What is the supreme evidence today இன்று என்ன ஒரு மேன்மையானாலும் நமக்கு மத்தியிலே that's what is important adha than miga mukkiyam we are stirred up when we talk about joshua yoshua ay kurithi pesumbodhu nam elupapadugirom how about us today inne nammai kurithi eppadi irukku if that ark was the foreshadow of christ yedi andha udanpadikai petti kristuvaga irundal it pointed towards christ adhu kristuvai kurithi solli solla padugirathu the true ark of god and the unmaiyana udanpadikai petti What will that mean to us today brothers and sisters? உண்மையான தேவ உடன்படிக்கை பற்றி அவராக இருந்தார். Hereby you shall know the living God is amongst us. அதன் மூலமாக ஜீவனுள்ள தேவன் உங்களுக்கு இருக்கிறார் என்பதை அறிந்து கொள்ள முடியும். எப்படி? Hereby. எப்படி? Oh may God open our eyes of understanding. நம்முடைய புரிதலின் கண்களை தேவன் நமக்கு உணர்த்தட்டும். What is the supreme evidence today? இன்று மேன்மையான அடையாளம் என்ன? Of the living God being amongst us. தேவனுள்ள ஜீவனுள்ள தேவனுடைய பிரசன்னம் நமக்கு இருக்கிறது that we know Jesus Christ as triumphant over the power of death அந்த மரணத்தின் மன்னன் வல்லமையை கிறிஸ்து ஜெயம் கொண்டார் என்பதை அறிவதில் இருக்கு we know Jesus Christ as one who is triumphant over the power of death அந்த மரணத்தின் வல்லமையை இயேசு கிறிஸ்து தான் ஜெயம் கொண்டார் என்பது நமக்கு தெரியும் yes the power of resurrection அந்த உயிர் தெழுதலின் வல்லமை one who has who is triumphant over death marnathai jayam konda avar who has the power of resurrection veer thelin vallamai kondirukkira avar and know the same in our own life in experience avar anubhavamaga nammudaiya vaalkaiyile avar kadandu vandirukkirar amen not that he did avar seidathu maatram alla but that i experienced that in my life that is the evidence naan adai anubavithirukiren adhu dhaan adayalam the evidence of the living god is in amongst us is namakkullaga jeevanulla devan irukkirar endradharku adayalam enna venil that we know jesus has triumphed over the power of death maranathin vallamaiye jeevam konda yesuvai naan arindirukiren endradhagum yes the one with the power of resurrection veer thelin vallamaiye konda avar and experience that in our own lives nammudaiya vaalkaiyile avare naam anubavithirukkirom for having met with death naam maranathai sandithavaraga the lord jesus christ met with death yesu christ vanavar maranathai sandithar in its full power adudaiya mulu vallamaiye sandithar in full force adudaiya mulu aatralai sandithar it it's full tide adinudaiya alayinudaiya mulu visai sandithar mulu vegathai sandithar full tide it was overflowing adu karai purandu odikondirundathu yes and he triumphed over that overflowing death that was working in humanity அப்படியாக அந்த கரை புரண்டு ஓடி அந்த மரணத்தை அவர் தன்னுடைய வல்லமையினால் ஜெயம் கொண்டிருந்தார் அது மனிதனுடைய வர்க்கத்திலே கிரியே செய்து கொண்டிருந்தார் அதுதான் இதனுடைய அர்த்தமாக பேசப்படுகிறது இதுதான் ஜீவனுள்ள தேவன் நம்மளே இருக்கிறார் என்பதற்குரிய அடையாளமாகும் இந்த கிறிஸ்து is going before us இந்த கிறிஸ்து தான் நமக்கு முன்பாக போய் கொண்டிருக்கிறார் the one who is triumphant over the power of death மரணத்தின் வல்லமையை ஜெயம் கொண்ட அவர் in the power of his resurrection தன்னுடைய உயிர்த்தெழின் வல்லமையினாலே ஜெயம் கொண்ட the one who has met death in all its full power அந்த மரணத்தை தன்னுடைய முழு வல்லமையினால் ஜெயித்தவர் yes in full force முழு வல்லமையினால் in its full tide அதனுடைய கரை புரண்டு ஓடிக்கொண்டிருந்த நிலையில் lord jesus triumphed over those things அந்த காரியங்களை ஆண்டவராக இயேசு கிறிஸ்து ஜெயம் கொண்டார் it was the flood tide of death அது மரணத்தினுடைய வெள்ளப்பெருக்காக இருந்தது that was encountered at calvary அது கல்வாரி சிலுவையிலே அது எதிர்கொள்ளப்பட்டது yes you know at calvary கல்வாரியிலே as we were singing those songs today இன்று நாம் அந்த 
How wonderfully the Holy Spirit led us to those songs today morning. You know, at Calvary, the Lord Jesus met with death in all its power. In all that death means, Jesus met with that on the cross of Calvary. Far beyond mere physical death. Physical death. Yes, he met beyond physical death. You know, he met with all the terrible, wicked power of even spiritual death. You know, he met with those powers. And he defeated them. Hallelujah. Amen. And we say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. He did that, brothers and sisters. You know, may God open our eyes to see what this salvation is to us. It is not just believing in some Jesus. It is not some prayer you made sometime in your life. But realize is the evidence of this Christ who overcame death and faced death in all his full power and now living, living where? In your life and my life. Hallelujah. That's the evidence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my brothers and sisters. Our eyes have to be open. To see this Christ. Hereby. He shall know the living God is amongst us. Amen. 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 Hereby, hereby ye shall know. Hereby we shall know. Hereby I shall I shall know. In my life, in your life, in our lives, that the living God is amongst us. How? The Ark of the Covenant of the Lord has entered into the Jordan and pushed everything back. Amen. The Lord Jesus went into the iniquitous death. Yes. The death's power was taken from it. Through death he conquered the one who had power over death. Amen. This is Christ. This is the Ark of the Covenant. That went into the Jordan. And it could not overflow. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh may God open your eyes. Jordan could not overflow. Jordan could not overflow the ark. He broke the power of death. He broke the power of its curse. And he made death to stand back. Hallelujah. As the scripture says, He tasted death in behalf of every man. Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 9, I think. Uh, for the sake of those. Yes. It says towards the end of chapter um, verse 9, it says that he by the grace of God should taste death for every man. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He tasted death in the behalf of every man. So he has delivered us in his own victory over death. Yes. 
we have benefited from his reward as we confess this morning amen avarudaiya balanil irundhu namakku laabam kedaithirukkirathu endru naam paadinom balki dwara humne jo hai in cheezon ka swachak he delivered us namai avar vidivittar in his own victory over death maranathinal maranathai thaan jeyam kondadin nimittamaga he stands for the testimony of life of life jeevanulla devan irukkirar endradharku avar saatchiyaga nirkkirar he stands for the testimony of a life or jeevanukku avar saatchiyaga nirkkirar nay jeevan ki jeevan ki gawai ke liye yes he stands for the testimony of a life which is inescapable or sorry incapable of being swallowed up by death maranathinal vilunga mudiyada and the jeevanukku avar saatchiyaga nirkkirar nahi kiya ja sakta us jeevan ki wo gawai Yes he stands let me say that again he stands for the testimony of a life which is incapable of being swallowed up by death maranathinal vilunga mudiyada anda jeevanukku yesu christuvan avar or saatchiyaga nirkkirar jise ki mrittu nikal nahi maranam vilunga mudiyada jeevanukku yesu christuvan avar saatchiyaga nirkkirar yes thus the cry of the apostle paul is Oh death where is thy victory? Agave Paul soligrar maraname un kurenge. Oh death where is thy sting? Maraname un kurenge. Thanks be unto God who giveth us victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Yes Christ in mulam namakku vetriyai kodutha devanukku nandri solgu. Read that in 1 Corinthians 15:55 to 57. 1 Corinthians 15th adhigaram 55 le vaasikkom. Yes that I'm not able to quote that scripture properly. My brother 15 Yes, fifty-five to fifty-seven. <laughs> o death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? I'm the sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through Jesus Christ, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Marna me un kore enge, badal me un jay enge. Marna tin kore pavam, pavat tin balan yaya pramanam. Namde kathra ge yes kirti unale namak jayam kore kre devan kusto utram. Yes. I'm but yellow varai. I'm but ainde. Mudal I'm but yellow varai. Amen. So my brothers and sisters, my prayer this morning is that our eyes may be open. These may be familiar scriptures to us. नमक के तेरे ने वचनों मागे इन दालों नम्बर कंगल तेरे को पढ़ा बैंडी मिटे नान जबी करे. But I see the lack of this testimony in our lives. हाँ ना इन द साची नोडे या कुरेवे नाम नम्बर वाल्के नाम बाकी. By this we know, hereby we shall know that the Lord is amongst us. जीवन ला देव ना मत्ती ले रिक्रार. Behold the ark of the Lord. इधो देव नोडे उड़न बड़ी के पेटी. You know. enters passeth over you before you into jordan ungalukku munbaga yordanile adu kadandu selgirathu oh may god help us oh deiva namakku udavi seiyathu that jesus christ the ark of the covenant is before us and entered into that realm namakku munbaga devudey udanbadike pettiyagi aandavaragi yesu christu yordane kadandu munde sendu kondu so what is the supreme evidence that the living god is amongst us agave jeevulla deva namathil irukkirar endradharku menmeyana adayalam enna that we are here you know rejoicing and coming into the power of a deathless life அந்த மரணம் பிடிக்க முடியாத அந்த ஜீவனுடைய அனுபவத்திற்கு இங்கு நாம் இப்பொழுது வந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறோம் அதுதான் அடையாளம் எஸ் in other words இன்னொரு வார்த்தையில் we are living in the blessing of christ victory over death மரணத்தை மரணத்தை இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவான் ஜெயம் கொண்டார் அதனுடைய சந்தோஷத்திலே நாம் வந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறோம் over the power of death அந்த மரணத்தை அவர் ஜெயம் கொண்ட அந்த வெற்றி நிமித்தமாக in the power of his resurrection அவருடைய உயிர் தெழுதலின் வல்லமையின் மூலமாக yes you have a life which is within you ungalukullaga oru jeevane neengal kondirukkireer in your spirit ungude aaviyile which cannot be overwhelmed or empowered by death hallelujah maranathinal adu jeem kollapada mudiyadhu maranathinal adu thorkadikapada mudiyadhu amen amen do you have this hope indha nambike ungalku unda Oh may God deliver us. Devan nam ividhale seiyattum. We have not understood. Idai nam purindukollavillaya. We have received Christ. Nam Yesu Christu vetrukondirukkom. We are born again we say. Nam marubadiyum pirandirukkom endru solugirom. 
our hearts have to be open nammude hridayam therndu kaanapadathu indha vaarthai paarpadharku you have a life within you ungalukullaga oru jeevan irukku i have a life within me enakullaga oru jeevan the day when i was born again naan marubadiyum pirandha naalil as many as received him etrai per avar yetrukondargalo did you receive him avar yetrukondirukkirgal or you received a thing illa vittal oru porulai yetrukondirukkirgal or you received a doctrine illa vittal oru upadeshathai yetrukondirukkirgal then i am very sorry appadi irundal naan varundukiren the scripture says vedam solugiradhu as many as received him etrai per avare yetrukondargal then gave he the power to become the sons of god deva putrigalaga avadharku vallame devan kodukkirar even to them who believe on his name avarude naamathai viswasikkal etrai per born lord of man avargal manidhanal alla nor of the will of the flesh mamsathinal alle or of blood ratathinal alle but born of god avargal devanale pirandavargal amen amen this is salvation idhu da rakship you have a, a life within your heart ungal hridayathile ungalku oru jeevan irukirathu which cannot be overwhelmed by death or overpowered by death adhe maranathinal jeem kallapada mudiyadhu adhu thodkadikkapada mudiyadhu yes amen <coughs> what a tremendous thing that is enna or arbudhamana karyam idhu this life is in you inda jeevan ungalkkul irukirathu when death is all around there is life in you and in me that's a subtle matter and the maranamanadhu ungale sutri kaanapadum bolude ungalukkullum enakkullum and the jeevan irukirathu and the kaaryam than hereby you shall know the living god is among you idhar moolamaga jeevanulla devan ungalukkull irukkar endru arindhu kollungal whereby idhan moolamaga that there is life or a jeevan in you ungalukkulla a life that has conquered death maranathe jeem konda jeevan ungalukkullaga irukirathu endru moolamaga arindhu kollungal What a tremendous truth that is. Enna or arumayana udaranam idu. So what is the testimony of Jesus? Agave Yesu Christ ude kaatchi. It is nothing less than this. Idu or menmayana kaariyam. That by his own life he has destroyed Satan. Avar satane jeem kondar. He has destroyed sin. Avar maranathe jeem kondar. and all its consequences adinudi ella vilavigalaiyum avar jeem kondirukkar and he brought in a new creation in christ jesus kristavukullaga oru purudhiya sirshiye undaakkirukkar this is the testimony idhu dhaan saatchi he destroyed satan avar satane jeem kondar by his own life thanudaiya vaalvin moolamaga he destroyed sin maranathe jeem kondar and all its consequences adinudi ella vilavigalaiyum alithi vittirukkar oru pudhiya sirshiye kondu vandirukkar christ jesus kristuvukullaga and that is the testimony of jesus adhu dhaan yesu kristunudaiya saatchi aagum it's all gathered up in christ the son ivigal ellam kristuvana deva kumaranile nerevere irukirathu yes and brought into something which he himself possesses avar edai sondarithirukkaro adile namai kondu varigirathu god's free gift is De- eternal life devrudaiya ilavasamana kirubai nithya jeevan mukta or mukta batan yes he that had the son had life kumaranai kondirukkiravan jeevanai kondirukkiran the son who hath overcome death in all its force and power maranathin ella vallamayum paavathu the consequences of sin மரணத்தின் எல்லா வல்லமையையும் பாவத்தின் எல்லா வல்லமையும் ஜேம் கொண்ட அந்த குமாரன் ஜீவனை கொண்டிருக்கிறார் சோ டு பொசஸ் கிரைஸ்ட் ஆகவே கிறிஸ்துவை சோந்தரிப்பது என்பது டு பொசஸ் கிரைஸ்ட் கிறிஸ்துவை சோந்தரிப்பது என்பது கிறிஸ்துவை கிரகண்ணை பொசஸ் கிறிஸ்துவை அடைந்து கொள்வது கிறிஸ்துவை சோந்தரிப்பதற்கு process கிறிஸ்துவை முழுமையாக பெற்று கொள்வதற்கு possession சுந்தரிப்பதற்கு yes ஆக்கிரமணம் 
to possess Christ would mean கிறிஸ்துவை சுதந்திரிப்பது என்ற அர்த்தம் என்னவென்றால் காபு கர்ணா You know, to have Christ is to have life eternal. Kirsuvei kundiri padi andral nitya jeevanai kundiri padagum. You know, and we know that these have become very common words amongst believers. Vishwasigal matile idu oru paduvana vasanam agum adi nam kete rekro. But many a time we do not understand what that really means. Ana ladade unmiyana arthete nam palanirangile unnu. You know, the preachers of our times have diluted everything. Namudey kalathin prasengyargal ellari ellavattiyum neerthu poga cheyirukkarargal. You know, may God the Holy Spirit open our eyes of understanding to know the one who is living in us. நமக்குள்ளாக இருக்கிறவரே is this resurrected christ who has faced satan and all its powers death with all its power and all its consequences he has overcome he has triumphed over it Amen. now he is living in me this is the evidence that the living god is amongst us namakullaga irukkira inda kristuvanavar maranathaiyum adanudeya vallamiyum paavathaiyum adanudeya vallamiyum ella vidamana vilaivugalaiyum jeyam konda uyirthalanda devan aagiya kristu dhaan namakullaga irukkirar endradhai deva aaviyanavar namakku kaanvithu kodukattum naam adai arindu kollattum paarkku upar usne jay pai aur paap ke sare parinamo pe jay pai wo jeevitha parmeshwar yesu mati hamare andar hai jeevitha praman now remember not to have this christ in us namakulaga inda kristu illa vittal ye masi hamare andar is masi to nahi namakulaga inda kristu illa endral inda kristu illa endral not to have this christ in us means namakulaga inda kristu ve kondira vittal else matra ella kaaryangalum irukirathu endra artham என்றால் <laughs> would mean all that he has possessed through and come into uh, by his death and resurrection is within me avar maranathin hallelujah i hope you understand what i'm saying ellam sondirithu kondaro adu ellam naan sondirithu sondirikiren enbadu arthamaagu or jo kuch masi yesu ka hai wo saari cheezon ko pa lena pa lena wahi hai jo masi ko apne hriday ke andar le lena hai If that is not a reality it means everything else fir wo baaki saari cheeze hamare andar adu unmai illamal irundal enakullaga adan artham matra ellam irukirad endra artham to have eternal life in him means usme satva jeevan to have this triumphant christ avarkullaga nithya jeevanai petrukiren endral jeevanthu prabhu yesu mathi jo hamare andar hai yes in the வெற்றி அடைந்த கிறிஸ்துவை நான் கொண்டிருக்கிறேன் என்றால் தட் கிரைஸ்ட் ஹூ டிஸ்ட்ராய்டு ஆல் தி வொர்க்ஸ் ஆஃப் சைடன் அந்த கிறிஸ்து எஸ் அந்த சாத்தானின் எல்லா கிரியையிலும் அளித்த அந்த கிரைஸ்ட் இஸ் வித் இன் மீ ஆர் ஹூ மசி மேரி அந்தரே இந்த கிறிஸ்து எனக்கு அந்த கிரைஸ்ட் இஸ் गोइंग டு ப்ரூவ் ஆர் ஏ மசி உஸ் பாத் கு சாபிக் கரே இந்த கிறிஸ்துவானவர் நிரூபிக்க போகிறார் that this overcoming is possible amen this christ in us in the jeem kolludal saathiyam ennu this victorious christ in me namakullaga irukkira inda kristu the christ in me the hope of glory enakullaga irukkira jeem konda kristu is able to undo all the work of satan magame namikiyana anda kristu yes அவர் 
Romans chapter 8. Romer kalde nirupam etam adhigarathirkku selvom. Verse 16 onwards are very famous portions and we all know it very well. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Hallelujah. I think every child of God, you know, born of God, when I have, you know, shared gospel with them, I always shared this verse. This is the beginning. The Spirit small as... Oh, sorry, the big S, the Spirit beareth witness with our spirit, small s. You know, Spirit, the Holy Spirit bearing witness with our spirit. Which is raised up to life when we confess and receive Christ in our lives. You know, and we say thereby, we are the children of God. And if children then heirs and heirs of God and join heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. For, for I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity not willingly but by reason of him who had subjected the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain until now. And not only they but ourselves also which have the first fruits of the spirit even we ourselves groan within ourselves waiting for the adoption to wait the redemption of our body for we are saved by hope. ஒன்றுமெண்டன் கிரைஸ்ட் You know, and this redemption goes back to the beginning. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes or no? Can you realize, brothers and sisters, or may our eyes be opened, the scales be falling off from us, to see that that salvation into which you are coming to goes back to the time of creation. Yes, to the beginning. The whole creation is waiting for what? The full salvation of God's people. The full salvation of humanity. God's, the man that God raised up in his own image and likeness. What a tremendous thing. Can you see the significance of that eternal life? <laughs> it is not an eternal life that we go, we die and go to eternity. That's part of it. It's not a matter of we die and go to eternity. We die and go to heaven. It's not that matter. The matter here is this eternal life touches the whole creation. 
change your way of thinking change your way of thinking it's not a matter of my maturity there are people who talk about maturity there are people who talk about the cross there are people who talk about going on in Christ but remember one thing the salvation in you and me touches the creation hallelujah hallelujah That's what we read in Romans chapter 8. Oh may God help us. What a possession. What riches of grace. Unfathomable. Boundless. Hallelujah. Paul says. This gospel is committed to me. The unsearchable riches in Christ Jesus. Amen. Can you imagine this unrich, uh, unsearchable riches are in our hearts? This salvation has come to you and to me at a great price. The one who took on Satan and all the powers of darkness head on on the cross of Calvary. And that Christ who destroy the one who had power over death through his own death he is the one living in me Amen. Amen and this salvation this Christ in me you know brings me back Amen. into the beginning hallelujah hallelujah and the and if any preacher preaches that, he is dull, a preacher. He is not an entertaining preacher. And if a preacher says this truth, he is off the track. He does not know the dispensational truth. He does not know the systematic theology. Yeah. Listen carefully, brothers. It's hard to hear. But this is the truth. If your eyes are open, if my eyes are open, to know the gift of God, the gift of God is eternal life. And what that eternal life is, is not just that we go to heaven when we die. That eternal life touches everything. It's the whole creation. Yes. This is the reality of this Christ living in our innermost being. Yes. Amen. This is the Christ who is living in us. Amen. And as far as his position is concerned, he brings us to that realm and place that everything have been blotted out from our time to Adam. Yes. And we go beyond Adam's fall. Yes. Christ in us, the hope of glory. Now listen carefully. Look at what Paul says here in Romans chapter 8. Let me just also show that to us. Paul and the Soligar and the Parangal. Romans chapter 8, Paul says here. For I reckon that the sufferings of the present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall, which shall 
be revealed in us. Yes. So Paul does reckon about sufferings. Yes. Remember one thing as we said. You know the Lord um, blots out. You know he, he has blotted out everything from our lives until Adam. Yes. And now he takes us on further. And this life goes on. Yes. And in that life, we may face conflicts. Yes. We may face conflicts. And we will face them. And yet there is the one who is victorious within us. Yes. There are conflicts. There are sufferings. It's a reality within us. Our triumph is not of sin, not the triumph of suffering, not the triumph of pain, not a triumph of sorrow, not the triumph of death, but it is the triumph of life in Christ. Yes. Our triumph is a triumph of life in Christ Jesus. Yes. And remember, as we know, this life is in us now. Yes. And therefore, dear brothers and sisters, it is not a small thing to have this life in Christ. Amen. Amen. You know, the greatest tragedy is this precious life of Christ is considered to be what? Tell me what you consider that to be. May I not tell you. We will say precious, beautiful, nothing compared to this. But let us be honest. What is this life considered to be? Everything else is important. But this life. This is somewhere... This is okay for me, when I die, I will go to eternity with Christ. And so this is needed in my life. Eternity is secure. I will not go to a place of suffering. What else is this Christ? What else is this Christ to me? Blessing. Future. Prosperity. What is this Christ? What is this Christ? What is this eternity? What is this eternal life in us? How 
how do we deal in with in the kristu ungalku epdiyaga who is in the nithya jeevan epdi irukkudu ungalku laga irukkira nithya jeevan epdi irukkirathu epdiyaga karudugireergal do you understand what the spirit is saying to us இந்த ஜீவனுள்ள தேவனோடு கூட நாம் எப்படி வாழ்கிறோம் இந்த ஜீவனுள்ள தேவனோடு கூட எப்படி வாழ்கிறோம் இட்ஸ் டைம் டு ஆவியானவர் சொல்லுகிறது புரிகிறதா பிளீஸ் லெட்ஸ் நாட் கன்சிடர் ஹிம் டு பி அ திங் என்னுடைய தேவ ஜனங்களே தயவு செய்து realize he is a living person within us yes amen agave avare oru vasthuvaga enna nadakkum the great source of life or wo ek mahan sota hai jeevan ka source of triumphant life or jeevant jeevan ka sota namakullaga irukkira jeevanulla remember this salvation this christ in you is not some abstract thing and the jeevanudaiya megaperiya aadharam அந்த ஜீவனுள்ள வெற்றியடை வெற்றி சிறந்த வாழ்க்கையின் ஆதாரம் அவரே இஸ் ரெசிடென்ட் வித் இன் யூ பை த பவர் ஆஃப் ஹிஸ் ஓன் விக்டரி உங்களுக்குள்ளாக இருக்கிற கிறிஸ்துவானவர் ஏதோ காண முடியாத தேவன் அல்ல பை ஹிஸ் ஸ்பிரிட் இஸ் ரெசிடென்ட் இன் யூ அண்ட் இன் மீ இன் த பவர் ஆஃப் ஹிஸ் ஓன் விக்டரி ஹி ஹஸ் ஓன் தன்னுடைய சொந்த ஜெயம் கொண்ட வல்லமையின் निमितமாக உங்களுக்குள்ளாக அவர் வாழ்ந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறார் for he has himself sold up kulaga mena kulaga avude aavinal vaalndu kondirukkar he sold up so tanudeya jayathinal avar nammile vaalndu kondirukkar he sold up and the vallamainal vaalndu kondirukkar amen amen our eyes have to be open brothers and sisters avar paavathai velugivittar your salvation your eternal life touches the whole creation vedanai velugivittar maranathaiyum velugivittar it is not you are little overcoming this Amen. and little overcoming that and some Nobody measure of maturity. Maturity. remember your salvation touches the whole creation yes ungalude rachippu ungalude nithya jeevan mulu sirshayam todugiradha irukirathu you know in the book of revelation quickly we are go the book of revelation chapter 1 and verse 10 we read i am he that lives i am dead I am alive under the ages of the ages and have the keys of death and Hades. Revelation chapter 10 verse 10. We have to go quickly brother. Chapter 1 verse பதினெட்டாம் இருக்கிறேன் The Lord Jesus said in book of John Nane chapter Jivikiren. 11 verse 25 Marite. I am the resurrection and the life. Idho sada kaalangalilum uyirodu irukiren. Amen. In 1 John chapter 5 and verse 11 we read This is the witness that God has given unto us eternal life and this life in his son. Nane uyirthaludirin vallame nane jeevan endru yovanile solugirar. 5:11 தேவன் நமக்கு நித்திய ஜீவனை தந்திருக்கிறார் அந்த ஜீவன் அவருடைய குமாரனில் இருக்கிறது என்பதே அந்த சாட்சியாகும் ஐந்தாம் அதிகாரம் பதினோராம் வசனம் John says this is the testimony that that evidence that God gave us eternal life and this life in his son this is the testimony it is an sachi amen this is the testimony 
That evidence. Deva namak. God gave us eternal life. And this life in his son. This is a testimony. Amen. Amen. This life in us. This living Christ in us. This is the testimony. Not merely saying Christ is in me. The livingness of Christ. Amen. Amen. The one who, you know, conquered death. Destroyed death. Hereby we know the living God is amongst us. For the ark of the covenant goes before us into Jordan. Amen. Hereby we have the evidence. The living God is amongst us. Whereby he goes before us. He is in the Jordan. He has conquered death. He conquered everything. He conquered power over death. He destroyed him. Made an open distance. Oh, you may say, Brother Joy, all these great things, but I know where I am. You may be where you are, but the Lord is trying to say where you have been called. I will come to that in a few minutes if you are still available here. You can be seated here and pack up and go. Means you are still here but packed up and gone. In your mind. Okay. Doesn't matter. But let me just share this again from another translation. Yes. Ningal Sarira Pragara Mangirindalum, Ningal Manadalavile wearing a Mirkalam, Irindalum Unur Muriaka then on Soligrain. Ah, yeah. And this is that testimony God has given us eternal life and this life in His Son. Whosoever has the son hath life. Yes. Life. There is a life. Life of that son living in us. Yes. Like Another translation. The authorized version. It says and the witness is this. Here the word is witness. And the witness is this, that God gave us eternal life and this life in His Son. Yes. Oh, what a is tremendous that, thing it is. You know, we cannot grasp it by our natural mind. But we need to grasp it and understand it by the Holy Spirit. Yes, we cannot sense the significance of having this life by the natural mind at all. This is what Paul says, He hath not heard, I hath not seen, nor entered into the heart of man, is this riches in Christ Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, how far reaching is this life in Christ? Amen? Amen? It's not just a protection. It's not just a protection from this and that. It's all there, saints of God. Don't fear about that. But this life in Christ touches, you know, the whole creation and brings the whole creation into that place of restoration and recovery. Amen. Yes. Far reaching it is. How it touches the universe. How it swallows up everything. That Satan has brought into this world. Yes. You know one thing. 
Let me say this with conviction. Talk about this life. And each, it will bloom into immortality. Immortality. Yes. Talk about this life in Christ. And it will bloom into immortality. Avinas Jeevan. It will bloom into immortality. Yes. Talk about this life. Talk about this Christ. Amen. The living one. The living one. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, we are missing that livingness of Christ within us. We are missing out the power of resurrection working in us. Hereby we know. Hereby we know. That the living God is amongst us. Thereby we shall know. Thereby. Thereby we shall know. Thereby we shall know. Yes. Oh, this, this salvation touches the whole creation. Yes. This is the life. And this life carries us of immortality. Yes. This life Guarantees, guarantees us of immortality. In the Jeevan. Yes. Yes. And it will undo everything that which Satan has done. In the Jeevan. And undo everything he will try to do. Yes. This life will reverse one order of things. And bringing another order of things. Yes. It will reverse one thing that Satan has instituted. And, he, the, and this life will constitute something or institute something which God has desired. Yes. It will secure the glorious, great divine purpose which Satan has taught to frustrate. So saints, the enemy always would try to frustrate but remember, we need to hold on to this triumph and this ark that is entered into the Jordan. Yes. He is the one who is within us. He will seek to frustrate us. But hold on to this Christ. Christ the hope of glory. Christ lives within. This is the great hope we have in our lives. This triumphant Christ. Saints of God. So in the first place, as I shared a while back, we have to be sure we have this Christ within us. If you are born again, truly born again, you know, then you should be sure about this Christ indwelling within us. Yes. Do you have that assurance in your heart as the word of God says that you have passed from death to life? 
அனுபவம் நம்மில் அநேகர் இந்த அனுபவத்தை கொண்டிருக்கிறோம் என்று எனக்கு தெரியும் but maybe in god uh, god wills anal indra aaviyanavar inda namakku kudukku pudhiya vidamaga namai pesi namai elupugirade naan paarkkiren having received this life naan nerivu seiyen how important it is that we should be cooperating with that life within us devanukku sithamanal adutha varam anal sila vaarthaigal solli mudikkiren cooperating with that devanangale inda kristuvai yetrukkonde cooperating with that jesus and and the jeeva namakullaga irukkira jeevanodu kuda othilaikka vendi devala avashyamaa irukkirathu point out these things that divine and the jeevanodu kuda naam othilaikka vendum has a way of its own please and the yesuodu kuda naam othilaikka vendum this life within us the life of the son we have received indha oru kaaryathai naan solugiren that divine life has a way of its own adu thanudaiya sonda valiyai kondirukirathu idai daiva seidhu poindu kollungal and that life does not go our way nam petru kondirukkadana anda kumaranin jeevan indha deiviga jeevan thanudaiya sonda valiyai kondirukirathu the divine life has its own yes it does not go our way அந்த ஜீவன் நம்முடைய வழியில் செல்லாது கரெக்ட் ப்ளீஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் திஸ் லைஃப் ஆஃப் கிரைஸ்ட் திஸ் டிவைன் லைஃப் இன் ஆஸ் இந் தி தி லைஃப் ஆஃப் தி சன் தன்னுடைய வழியை ஹஸ் இட்ஸ் ஓன் வே நம்முடைய வழியில் செல்லாது இட் டஸ் நாட் கோ மை வே இட் டஸ் நாட் கோ யுவர் வே இந்த கிறிஸ்துவனுடைய இட் டஸ் நாட் கோ தி வே ஆஃப் மை திங் தெய்வீக ஜீவன் and the kumarnude it does not go the way of your thing it does not go the reasoning. way of our thing ungalude valiyil our reasoning our arguing our debating in padi adu sellade amen ungalude ennathin padiyagavum sellade this is one thing we need to understand nammude ennangalin padiyaga adu sellaga and this must register vaakvadathin padiyaga ennudaiya pagutharivin padiyaga and this is where we have all the battles sellaadu this is we have all the battles this is where the world comes and divides between indha kaaryathai ningal purindukolla vendum idu namakkullaga padiyavendum this divine life ingadha the life of the sun it does not go the way of our will ingadan vaarthiyanadhu vande nammai pirikkirathu unnum solugire it does not go the way of our will inda devan devanulla vaarkai deiviga vaarkai not where we have trouble we struggle nammude sithathin padi sellaadhu let us understand amen it does not go the way of our will it does not go the way of our desire ingadan namakku poradhu it does not go the way of our liking nam yuttham seigirom it does not go the way of your liking my liking or our liking nammude sithathin padi adu sellaadhu it has its ennudaiya vaanjin padiyaga adu sellaadhu amen nammude viruppathin padiyaga adu sellaadhu the father had his way ungalude viruppam ennudaiya viruppam nammude viruppathin padiyaga sellaadhu அது தன்னுடைய சொந்த வழியை கொண்டிருக்கிறது ஐ ஆம் தி வே ஹி லே டவுன் ஹிஸ் வே பிதா தன்னுடைய வழியை கொண்டிருந்தார் தி ஃாதர்ஸ் வே அண்ட் தஸ் ஹி பிகேம் தி வே பிதாவின் வழியில் நடந்தார் சென்ஸ் ஆஃப் காட் நவ் திஸ் இஸ் தி ரியாலிட்டி ஆகவே அவர் சொல்கிறார் நானே வழி என்று திஸ் லைஃப் டஸ் நாட் கோ அவர் தன்னுடைய வழியை கைவிட்டார் ஒரு ஹமாரி டிரெக்ஷன் ஹமாரி டிரெக்ஷன் டஸ் நாட் கோ தி வே ஆஃப் आवर டிசையர் அப்படியாக அவர் வழியாக மாறினார் தேவ ஜனங்களே இதுதான் உண்மை 
it has its own way and therefore what should be done in our lives therefore on our part there has to be a continuous yielding to this life continuous yielding to the way of life cooperating with its own loss இந்த ஜீவனுக்கு ஏதுவாக நாம் தொடர்ந்து நாம் நம்மை ஒப்பு கொடுக்க வேண்டும் the law of the spirit இந்த ஜீவனுடைய வழிக்கு நாம் தொடர்ந்து நம்மை ஒப்பு கொடுக்க வேண்டும் as we read in அதனுடைய எல்லா நியதிகளுக்கும் நாம் ஒப்பு the law of the spirit of life in christ jesus hallelujah yes so we need to cooperate with this life yielding ourselves பிரமாணத்திற்கு ஒப்பு கொடுக்க வேண்டும் we need to cooperate with the laws of this life so saints of god if this life is going to lead us through to the place which it is intended to reach in the jeevanudaiya pramanathirkku nam oppu kodukka vendum we have got to go with agaven deva janangale amen in the Amen. ஜீவன் நம்மை வழிநடத்துகிறது If this life is going to lead us through அது எந்த இடத்தில் பிரவேசிக்க வேண்டும் என்று நினைக்கிறீர்கள் Many situations அந்த இடத்திற்கு நம்மை வழிநடத்துகிறது அப்படி இருந்தால் நாம் அதோடு கூட நாம் To that destiny or to that place we are to reach The only way is to go ஜீவன் தான் நம்மை முழுவதுமாக வழிநடத்த வேண்டும் என்று இருக்கிறதா பல சூழ்நிலைகள் The ark of the covenant of the Lord is going where before us nam engu pravesikka vendumo andha ilakkukku namai valladukkira padiyal that is the way apdiya irukkira padiyal adodu kuda da nam thella vendum veru vali alla samarpikkaradhu devanudaiya udanbadike petti and that life is going to lead us namakku munbaga selgirathu to the place which Amen. it is intended to adhu dhaan vali bring us and the vali ki we have to go with it amen if we have to reach our destiny in christ we have to go with him amen adu namme enge kondu sella virumbadhu it is with him we will reach the destiny poi kondirukirathu adhu kuda nam thella vendum follow the lamb aur ye ve hai jo us lamb ne kaanu shar kar kristu ko laag irukkira ilagirkku nam praveshikka vendum endral adhodu kuda nam thella vendum we can only reach that place provided we follow the lamb we go in the naatkal and the aattu kutiyanavare pinbattukira naatkal aagum we have to go with him engellam aattu kutiyanavar seligiraro angellam seligira naatkal aagum we have to yield ourselves to that life we have to recognize its loss avare nam aattu kutiyanavare nam engellam pinbattukiromo angellam avar velikiraro appozhudhu nam thella vendum or hum kheche aur thakka hum wahan pe nahi de sakte yes we need to yield and the jeevanukku nam mulumiyaga oppu kodukkum there must be an utterness of abandonment to the lord himself in our hearts or jo prabhu nam ilithu thalla mudiyadhu yes there must be a swift response to every indication of divine life that the spirit will bring forth nammude hridayathile devanukkaga ellavattrayum kai vittu nam avarkkendu mulumiyaga oppu kodukka vendum a quick response to what the spirit will whisper to us a quick obedience to every indication of the lord's way in our lives devige jeevan moolamaga kudukra ella vidhamana kaaryangalukkum nam oppu kodukka vendum udanadiyaga oppu kodukka vendum my brothers and sisters i'm going to close here aaviyanavar solugira ella kaaryangalukkum udanadiyaga nam pradhi uttaram selta vendum touches the whole creation amen தேவனுடைய வழியினுடைய எல்லா விதமான காரியங்களுக்கும் உடனடியாக நாம் ஒப்பு கொடுக்க வேண்டும் the evidence in deva janangalai naan nerivu seigiren that the living god is ungalude rachippu mulu srishtiyam todugiradha here in me no amen the ark of the covenant of the lord goes before you idhu dhaan may god help us amen saints this christ devan ungalukkul irukkirar endrathukku idhu dhaan saatchi please இப்படிதான் அறிவோம் that is honor respect 
தேவனுடைய உடன்படிக்கை பற்றி உங்களுக்கு முன்பாக செல்கிறது If we come to that realization, we will not be seated in the house of God in a casual attitude. Amen. Amen. You will respect the one who is within us. This triumphant one is within us. That is your salvation and my salvation. and that touches the whole creation namakulla irukkira avare nam madippo so let us not go our way in our will devam konda devam konda our reason and our arguments and all this it's time to yield to this man adu mulumiyana this victory is won this christ within us the hope of glory amen shall we all stand up in his presence thank you jesus ஆகவே நம்முடைய சித்தத்தின்படியாக விருப்பத்தின்படியாக செல்ல வேண்டும் இந்த ஜெயம் கொண்ட தேவன் இந்த மகிமையின் நம்பிக்கையாக இருக்கிற நம்முடைய தேவன் நமக்குள்ளாக இருக்கிறவர்களுக்கு ஒப்புக் கொடுக்க வேண்டிய வேலையாக இருக்கிறது தேவனுடைய பிரசனத்திலே எழுந்து காணப்படுவோம் Let there be a humility in our hearts. Let's be ashamed. As the Lord said unto the prophet of God, "Show the house to the house of Israel, and if they are ashamed, then show them the pattern of the house." Hallelujah. Are we ashamed of the way we have treated this Christ? Hallelujah. The whole worship today we saw how Christ was lifted up. How he triumphed over everything. Conquering death. Conquering the one who had power over death. Hallelujah. and how we have received that life out of his reward hallelujah and this christ within is the hope of glory what a salvation a salvation that reaches and touches the whole creation hallelujah thank you jesus hereby we know that the living god is amongst us whereby the ark of the covenant that goes before us has entered into the jordan hallelujah hallelujah pray o oh god open my eyes i am ashamed of my life lord i am ashamed and i see i did not cooperate with this life within me this life has its own way its own loss it cannot go by my feelings my will my desires my arguments lord forgive me lord open my eyes open my eyes lord to know that you are the living one within me thank you jesus this is the testimony this is the testimony hallelujah thank you jesus shall we just pray to god thank you lord jesus hallelujah hallelujah pray in your hearts pray in your hearts and seek the lord that he may forgive us cleanse us and open our eyes 
Hallelujah. That our lives will be different in the coming days. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hereby we know. Yes. The Lord, the living God is amongst us. I tell you, brothers and sisters, everything will change. Everything will change. Everything within your life will change, in your family will change, in the body of Christ things will change. Because we are aware of the one who is living. Hallelujah. The living God amongst us. The living God within us. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Oh, Ramakaya Shaka, Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Rabakashiak. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Let's be honest with God. Let's be honest with God, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Lord. And he will be merciful to us. Thank you, Jesus. Oh God, cleanse me. Oh God, wash me. Lord, forgive me, Lord. For this salvation touches the whole creation. Much beyond my little Victories, Lord. A great salvation. Oh, help me, Lord, that I would not neglect this salvation like the Hebrew believers. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. These are the days God would like to wake us up. Cleanse us, change us, transform us. Place within us a new hope. Revive us. Revive us, O oh God. Revive us, O oh God. Restore us. Thank you, Jesus. May God help us. I have request Brother Sam Russell to come forward and close with a word of prayer. Thank you, Father, for this time that you've given us. We see how much we have undermined your life within us. Lord, to see this great and wonderful salvation, which is beyond what we have asked or thought, it's beyond our expectations. It's so great, Lord. Our eyes have been enlightened to see that it extends to the whole of creation and even beyond it. Lord, it is not the Christ who came from heaven, but it's the Christ who died, who was buried who was resurrected, who triumphed over sin, over sickness, over death, over the devil. It is the resurrected life of Christ that lives within me. And Lord, we are truly ashamed how we have treated this life with our petty 
petty victories, O oh God, to realize it is far more, much more, Lord. It's beyond what we have ever thought. The whole creation is groaning and travailing for this salvation to encompass and free them and deliver them from their bondage. Oh God, yes, is there not a groaning in ourselves? There's a true groaning within us that we need, we need to know, we need a spirit of revelation in the knowledge of this one, this son who's living within. Oh God, reveal yourself. Open our eyes of understanding. Oh, to see what is the hope of our calling. The living God is among you. Hereby shall you know that the living God is among you. He goes before you. You have been doing that and yet our eyes are blinded not to realize what it is, Lord. Oh, that we may, each one may realize, Lord, who this Christ is. Yes, as we had heard, Lord, not only our lives, but the lives of the body of Christ. Lord, we would all rise up in victory, in triumph, even as you rose up in triumph over the enemy. You snatch the keys of hell and of death. What a triumph. What a victory. What a glorious victory. You are a conqueror, and therefore, Lord, you have made us more than conquerors through him that loved us. We are more than conquerors because you were more than a conqueror. We have not realized that, Lord. We are caught up with our own petty things, petty thinking, thoughts, which assail us at times and bring us down. But, O oh God, we have come to you with a heart of repentance. Oh, to receive your forgiveness even this morning, that we may arise and, Lord, meet that need of thine, Oh, you want us to be victorious and triumphant even as you were. Oh, yes, when you told Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. What a meaning it has. It's not merely something that is going to happen in this earth, but beyond that, beyond, Lord, beyond this creation. Help us, Lord, help us. Lord, we fall before you and we acknowledge how much we need you, how much we need a spirit of revelation in the knowledge of the Son. Grant us that, Lord, grant us that revelation, the true knowledge of who this Christ is, the living Christ, the living God is among us. The living God is in us, Oh God, we thank you, who has triumphed over death and over every power of the enemy. Yes, thank you, Father. We shall not die but live. Oh, help us to make that our con confession. Yes, that death will not reign in us, but your life, the resurrected life of Christ, will live within us and reign within us. We thank thee, Father. We praise thee and we bless thee. We worship thee and give you thanks. In Jesus' most precious name. Amen.